Hi guys, welcome to another Living in a TV video, David here. Today we will talk about the recent finds of oil and natural gas here in South Africa. Don't you believe me? Stay tuned because this video, once again, will blow your mind. Okay, so the other day I was asking myself, what about offshore mega projects? Uh, if you guys have been paying attention to this channel, I spoke about the Saldana Bay, um, investment and I was thinking to myself why they want to build uh, an infrastructure like that they want to probably make this a uh, oil and gas hub so other questions start to pop up like our coastline has 2,800 kilometers we have so many important uh, coastal cities so many ports so many um, infrastructure created uh, to receive and to transform fuel. And uh, what about the SEZs? So many SEZs on our coastlines, like the East London, uh, the Kuha. There must be something offshore. And I found all this that I'm going to show you guys. Okay, this article that I'm going to show you guys very quickly, I uh, will leave also all my links below, uh, was the discovery of two uh, gas uh, fields called the Brupada and Lupert, which, as this article say, is a game changer for South Africa's petroleum offshore exploration. Following the Brupada gas discovery announced in February 2019, the recent Lupert gas discovery made off the South Coast of Muscle Bay, South Africa, has been widely reported as celebrated in the local upstream oil and gas industry, and rightfully so. These discoveries have been described as a game changer for the South African economy, and it is important to understand why this is the case. Mm, okay, let's see more. This is actually a very intriguing um, information from uh, the website Worldometers. Uh, saying that our oil reserves are 15 million barrels and we are 84th in the world ranking in terms of oil reserves. Now look at this. Oil production barrels per day 136,517. Per day oil consumption per day 640,000 barrels. And this is to let you know that we import a lot of oil from overseas, especially from Saudi Arabia, Nigeria and Angola. And the ports where we get all these imports are Muscle Bay, Durban and Cape Town. Okay, so indeed we need to import a lot of oil in order to function energetically as a country, uh, because here our main uh, fuel is coal. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Cezal uh, was the first company in the world 50 years ago to actually get the recipe to take and create synthetic fuel by extracting oil out of coal. That was amazing. Okay, very well. So why the excitement? Let me tell you guys. It is projected that South Africa has resources of approximately 9 billion barrels of oil and roughly 60 trillion cubic feet of gas offshore. Offshore oil and gas exploration require significant investments as exploration activities are estimated to cost upward $150 million. And due to historically low exploration success rates, exploration opportunities are considered risky. The only way to have an accurate view on the hydrocarbon prospectivity of South Africa offshore blocks is through exploration and the drilling of exploration wells. Okay, very well. Okay, so I spoke about this uh, on this video, but don't forget you guys to watch, about Operation Pakisa. So Operation Pakisa was basically a project launched by the government seven years ago to promise a quick fix to the economy. And uh, there was also a vision for this specific oil and gas explorations that I want to tell you guys about. So the government wants exactly 30 wells until 2024. Okay, so... I just want to mention that the uh, majority of our natural gas actually comes from uh, two gas 
fields that Cecil has in Mozambique. Those gas fields are Pande and Tamani. Okay, these are basically um, the sweet spots. Uh, basically why? Because over these 40 to 50 years of exploration, uh, we mapped completely our uh, coastline because we have a, an economic zone offshore of 370 kilometers more or less and we have a lot of acreage where we can see where the oil gas uh, potential is and we have all the way from uh, Richards Bay, Durban, all the way to East London to Port Elizabeth we also have an area here with a lot of potential well, and also put from Port Elizabeth to Muscle Bay, two huge areas with a lot of potential also. And then Muscle Bay to Cape Town, and from Cape Town, Saldanya, all the way up to Namibia. We have a lot of potential in this area, but let me show you guys. So in in terms of the of the Lupert and Brupalda um, fields, they are called the block 11B and 12B. So above Saldana, we have the the block 2B. Wait, wait, look at this, look at this. Okay, this is uh, in Plattenberg Bay and Mossel Bay. They have a GTL plant, by the way, here, which is huge. They just need to to drill, pump the fuel, and transform it. And of course, sell it. So you guys can see here, the oil fields will be in green. Right, you guys can see these little patches here. So the gas fields will be red. So we have a lot. So, and we have more prospects, which is basically the Propada and the Padafisi fairway. You guys can see in, in orange. And of course, we got the pipeline already in this area with the Sable oil field, which was the, the first one in 2003. You guys can see there's a pipeline already done. Okay, very good. For you guys to have an idea how, how this uh, works. And look at the total block that seems like it wasn't explored. It's crazy, it's crazy, wow. Okay, so this is also interesting to see the foreign companies working now with shores, which are Total, Shell, any uh, Qatar Petroleum, also ExxonMobil, which I think uh, on the Durban area are doing the exploration there. Uh, this is huge, you know, it's... If you guys can see it is... Building the old infrastructure for this is a logistical nightmare. Okay, a very interesting thing, which is all these patches of land that you can see where people can make oil and gas explorations are very significant. Why? Because the owners of these patches of land will be able to make leases with other oil exploration or gas companies and make huge amounts of money over periods of 20 or 30 years until the resources are completely depleted. Now imagine the big business that has been done. Just look at the mapping. It's huge, huge money here. Okay, so what will be the pros and cons of all this? Let me tell you guys in my opinion. So the pros will be jobs, a lot of jobs, which is great news. Uh, the second will be basically we're gonna have a more developed and efficient and more productive oil and gas industry and we will not basically uh, need to import so much fossil fuels like we are doing at the moment. We can do everything internally. Okay, very well. What about the cons? The cons, and this is what I'm saying, you guys can comment down below. also would love to know your guys' opinion regarding this, which is, what about the environment? The environment we... We have, we have seen what these type of explorations we have done to countries like Mozambique, Nigeria, just to name a few African countries, like other areas around the world. So we're talking about coastal cities or more impoverished cities uh, or areas that depend on the, the sea as a food resource for their families to make business and so forth. What about the sea life? You know, the oil spills that are 
already affecting Cape Town and it was a big one in 1998. If you guys are aware, just make a little bit of research, you guys will see. And who this really will benefit? South Africa as a whole? I don't think so. Probably just a, a group of individuals and private entities. But this is not going to uh, basically benefit South Africa as a whole. It doesn't work like that. And uh, it's very concerning, you know, because we are a country that says that we are investing or going the green route, you know, renewable energies. And now we are doing this, which just proves that there's a complete contradiction of uh, what our development plan is for 2030. So these are just my thoughts on it. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, comment down below. It's always nice to know your guys' opinion. Anyway, I will see you in the next Living in SATV video and destroy that like button.